So, sorry we got cut off there. So, what we're saying is that the force of Earth on this object at 300 meters, kilometers, 300 kilometers, is 0.91 of the force of Earth on that same object on the surface. Do you see that it's not so different? What about the acceleration? Right? So the next question is, what, what about the acceleration? So we know that the acceleration near the Earth's surface is g, is 9.81. And if you multiply that, that factor, 0 0.91, um, you multiply that by, by g, you will have an acceleration of 8.9. So the point that they're trying to make here is that the force of gravity uh, is only point, is 0.91 of the the force of gravity, the force of Earth on of gravity on this object at 300 kilometers, is 0.91 times the force of gravity over here. It's very similar, and the acceleration is also very similar. 9.8 versus 8.9. So, is there floating? Is there floating really due to the fact that this force of gravity is negligible? The answer is no. Right? So what is um, so we've we've answered C. What is the acceleration due to gravity at 300 kilometers? We just saw that 8.9 meters per second squared. And the, the next one is D. While in orbit, the shuttle's engines are off. Why doesn't the shuttle fall to the Earth? Why doesn't the shuttle fall to the Earth? Okay. This is because the shuttle travels at such a high speed that the gravitational force. So, remember, if you've got this, ob uh, you've got uh, Earth there, and you've got, say, you've got the shuttle that's moving tangent, right? It's moving like that. Uh, if there, if there was no gravitational force acting on this, the shuttle, it would just keep going in that direction. But because there is this um, acceleration equal to v squared over r, it keeps pulling it to the center. Okay, And it's traveling at such a high speed that this gravitational force is just sufficient to keep it um, accelerating in a centripetal fashion. Okay, But I, I hope that we get this idea of of um, that the force of Earth on on an object in space over there is very similar. So it can't be because this force of gravity is so small that that's why they have this weightlessness. Okay? So, after answering this checkpoint, you may be wondering in what sense the objects inside are weightless. Okay, what does that mean to be weightless inside the space shuttle? Okay, so let's let's see what we mean by weight. Let's see what we mean by weight. Okay. 